Alright everybody, here's Jim Bowser Jr. Welcome back to the third and final of the three-part secret downloadable Skies of Arcadia videos. In this one, we will be doing the giant looper battle. We are up here in the northern looper ocean. And here we have the giant looper. So let's get started. There's going to be two small parts to this video. The first part is when the giant looper runs away, because as regular loopers do, they run away. And the second part is going to be how to actually beat him. So it's a ship battle, as opposed to Elcyon, which is the other giant looper in the Dark Rift. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually pretty intense, and it's it's actually it's pretty cool, I gotta say. And it's orange, and it has a big mouth like that. So here we go. Let's just do it normally. So, uh, say we're gonna use a, um, let's see, a moon cannon here, and then use an arc whale torpedo here. And then here we're gonna focus, and then here we're gonna focus. Because I don't want to... I, oh, wow, look at that. That already did half its health in damage. Yeah, but basically, as long as you don't like, I guess, I hope I don't kill it on the first try here, because then you guys won't be able to see what it's like when it runs away. See, okay, so now here you can see the rings. Basically, it can teleport between those rings at times. It's kind of strange how it does it, because it's not really an occurrence. Aha, looper ring! Like, we're gonna fly right into it. Ah. Ah! 2,000 damage, you could barely even see that. Yeah, my ship is pretty strong. Alright, Arc Whale Torpedo! Alright. I love ship battles. Thumbs up if you love ship battles. They're just so much fun. It's just so action-y. And it's so different from all the other ones. All, all the regular battles. Okay, see, there we go. Arc Whale Torpedo didn't do quite as much, but it did teleport. So that was kind of nice. I wonder how little damage it would have done if I had guarded. Oh, there it goes! There it goes, it runs away! Oh well, it got away. Hmm, looks like if we do too much damage at once, it gets scared and runs away. Alright then, next time we'll just try damaging it little by little. Maybe that will work. And then, we don't get anything. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh well, not a huge deal. So... Uh, I will restart the game real quick and then come back and then we'll show you how to really beat it and take it out the epic way. So, we'll be right back. Alright, and now we're back to the second half and now we will defeat the giant looper the regular way, or I suppose the actually able to kill it way. So, initiating battle sequence. With the epic ship battle music ah. <laughs> all right so basically we just have to generate a lot of uh, spirit so we're gonna use Urala here she pretty much maxes out our spirit it costs 15 points but that's that's gonna be it and then the rest we're gonna pretty much guard for this turn but then at the end, I am gonna have. Oh wait, no, not Drachma. Uh, Ika, yeah, for sure, guard there. Fina, we're gonna have. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, I'll wait. So then we'll just guard for the rest of everybody, and then we'll all be good. So here we go, using Urala. Okay, maybe it didn't max out our spirit, but it gave us 60 out of 75 total. It's preparing an attack. I think we're faster than it, so we should guard before it even hits us. Yep, evasive action. Looper ring! Once again, we just fly right into it. And we've got to have it coming. Ha! Ah! It did! Good thing I was guarding, it did even less. Jeez. What a weakling. I love the spike, the big ice-breaking spike right at the beginning or at the front of the Delphinus. It's so cool! Yes, come on. I hate that we have to wait for three turns. I'm gonna have to think of some good material. 
but I'm doing this on the fly, I don't know what to say. Can't think of any ship-related puns. <laughs> the Looper's gonna be in a lot of shit if we hit him again. <laughs> okay, so see, next turn we can use the Moonstone Cannon. So now we are just going to guard. We are going to guard with Ika. We're going to magic it up. We're going to use Incremis, which is going to boost our attack a billion fold. And then Drachma is just going to focus just to make sure that we get all of the extra, um, all the extra spirit that we need. Although we only need, what, 30 I think it is? Or, I don't know. I forget exactly how much the Moonstone Cannon is. But, still, it'll look good if we have full spirit. There we go, another evasive action. Incremus, oh my god, I can't wait to see how much damage we're going to do to this thing. I mean, one moon cannon. God, stupid ship, stop running into that. One moonstone cannon, or one moon cannon, what, took half its health in the first round, in the first part of the video when we were doing that. But now, the moonstone cannon, first of all, by itself should destroy this thing but now oh, oh now just wait we are so close Woohoo! see how this goes yeah so close come on let's do it Yes, okay, they were popped up again. It's like a it's like whack-a-mole. Alright. Let's see. What do we have here? Whatever. Um we can Yeah, okay, so Moonstone Cannon will have Vice use the Moonstone Cannon. And we'll just have Okay, sorry for the skip, but uh and now we're going to use Yeah, we're just gonna God, I don't know what else to do. Um Maybe arc nah, blah, blah, uh, nah, you know. Can we use like moon gun there and there? No, I, I want it to be all out moonstone cannon. So uh, let's just do this, let's do that, and do. Wait, mm, if we use a ship member, let's see. Does it even say what we can do? We'll raise your ship's attack and defense for a short time. Maybe I will use him. I had to look at that for a second earlier, which is why there was that skip. So, okay, fine, let's use Ryukan, he's worth it for there. And then we'll just, it's not even going to matter what we do here, so we'll just, just kill the hell out of him. So Ryukan is going to, I think it's the same thing as Incrum, because our, our attack is really high anyway. So I don't know how much more it's going to do, but um, <sighs> stupid loopering! Oh well, it's only going to do what, like 2,000? Zero. Zero. Yay for Ryu Khan. Woohoo! That's. Uh, I don't think of. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Moonstone cannon, fire! Fire! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! <laughs> 31,910! Oh my god! <laughs> Too good! Too good! 7,146 experience! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that was so intense! Oh, let's see, how much? 13,000 gold! And level up for Ika. Looks like we're gonna. Oh, Vice almost has a level up. Man! Woo! Oh, Thermal Grease Captain Stripe and a Hex Shell. Man, the Captain Stripe, that's gonna. We can use that right now to uh, upgrade the Delphinus's attack or health, 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 health. That's what I meant. Okay, fine. Here, vice items, ship items. Oh wait, nope, that's not ship items. These are ship items. Captain Stripe, Delphinus. All right, so we boosted its max HP, which is now fifty-eight thousand. <laughs> Awesome! So, that was the Giant Looper Battle. This was the final of all these guys of Arcadia secret previously downloadable items. Slash battles, slash islands. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll include the annotations for the others if you hadn't seen them right here in the corner. They would have also been at the beginning of the video. And thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other Skies of Arcadia walkthrough videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.